Got right there, guys. Um, obviously, the reason why you're watching this video today is because you've got Steam, um, and pretty much you've run out of space, uh, either on your SSD or your hard drive, or or even you know your, your hard drive, and you want to put some games on an SSD to increase the speed. Um, obviously, nowadays game saves are taking up very large amounts of space. Um, you know, starting from six gig, you know, all the way to sixteen. I think one of one of the ones on my computer. Right? So what we're going to do is go to your Steam folder here. I'm going to show you how to split it up today. So this is where all your game saves are. I'll show you how many gigs this is taking up. See, 116 gig just on games, and I've not even got a lot. How many games we've got? Two. Well, that's not even games. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got nine games there, and it's taken up 116 gigs. Now I have uh, an SSD. It's not. Uh, it's a 256 gig SSD. But obviously, after format formation, it's 238. And I have two of these. They're both crucial M4s. So I split the operating system across both of them. Now, it sounds quite complicated, but as long as you follow, a, you know what I'm going to show you today, uh, it will go well. So go to the drive that you want to want the games to be on, but not that they're currently on. So this is E. That's my primary drive. This is my secondary SSD. Now you're going to create a. You're going to create a new folder called Steam. And in that folder, you're going to create a new folder called Sitemaps. I mean Steam Apps. In there, you've got to put your username, your personal username. So, mine will be Jake. And uh, so now, this is where you're going to install all of your new games. And my recommendation is to make a note of this. So, insert that here. Just leave that at the top. Now, go back to your normal drive. So, that would be. Steam, then you go to Steam Apps, then you go to Common. Now, that transfer the smallest game save, um, or the one that least matters if goes wrong. Um, so that would be, I'm just going to do Blacklight. So now I'm going to make a note of this one. So go into that folder and copy this again to here. I'm going to name Blacklight. Underneath that, I'm going to do that there. Now underneath that, I'm going to ask you to copy this, put that there, and then do a forward slash, and then black light retribution. Like that, alright. So now underneath that, now what you can do is just go back to common. Cut this folder, go to your crucial or your secondary drive, Steam, Steam Apps, and paste that in there. Now, while that's transferring, here you're going to insert a MK link forward slash J C drive. You basically just copy this top one. Then speech box again. Space speech box again. Copy this underneath one. Trophy. Then speech box again. Now I'll keep that for reference. There. Now this is transferred over. Now when we go back to the local disk here. What you'll notice is. There's no more black light here. So what we're gonna do is just go to CMD. Now you're gonna copy this line into here. So
make sure you sped in the water. Once that's all typed out, just double confirm that that's all correct. The same as how you've written it up here, and then hit enter. Now close that. Now go back to here. Now you should notice there's a shortcut folder. Double click that, and make sure it takes you to the right place. Now what you're going to go is you're going to go to Steam. Start up Steam. The library, try and run your black light. It's a good sign, but still doesn't mean it's fully compatible. Hit play. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but it's full screen now, and the game is loading, so that is fine. That means you successfully transferred it over.